Yo, yo, Daily Fire. If it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. For all your supplement needs, go to Max Effort Muscle. All right, Daily Fire, episode 326, Types of Regret. Uh, Jesse Itzler, who lived with David Goggins, who lived with monks, he's like a real famous dude. Um, he talked about types of regret. I really had never heard it broken down like this. He said, there's the old stuff you can't fix. That's just what it is. And I don't have a lot of these type of things, but let's say uh, I wish I played baseball all the way through high school. I can't go back and fix that, right? I can't go back and fix that. Maybe I should have played DB all. I only really stuck with basketball. So it's like I didn't play those other sports all the way through. That's one thing I kind of wish, like, what happens if I would have done it? Actually, part of me thinks I probably have less injuries maybe because I didn't. But the reality is... I didn't really get under the lights on Friday night, right? From a football standpoint, it would have been fun. So, but I can't fix that. It's just over. That's 25 years ago. That's just what it is, right? It's just a talking point. Then there's the older stuff you can fix, which is maybe you've got a relationship that's fucked up with a family member. Maybe you got, you know, some shit from back in the day that you need to fix. Pick up the phone and you can fix it. So it might be a mild regret, but it's fixable. So as I'm speaking, you're probably thinking like, oh shit, like I got that stuff I can't do nothing about. It just is what it is. But I got this stuff that I can do something about that's going to make me feel better about those situations. And then there's the last one, which is future regrets, which is I'm kind of crazy about, is just with this last situation that that I'm kind of currently in with buying this island which sounds fucking crazy to say out loud, but buying this island in on this lake in Ohio is that I stood on it and no one had built on it. It was created like in the 30s and it's been sitting there this whole fucking time. And I stood on it and thought, I have to stretch myself to attempt to pull this off because if I don't, I know I'm going to have a future regret. And so that's the way I thought about it. I didn't think about Oh my gosh, this is going to be so sweet. Oh my gosh. Uh, I was thinking, I don't want to then be five years from now, two years from now, 20, 50 years from now and go, why the fuck didn't I go all the way till somebody told me no? And that was my fucking mentality. I, 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 day one, I saw it on Zillow, literally on Zillow. Like no one told me about it. I saw it on Zillow. Day two, I drive out there and look at it. Uh, I can see it kind of from another island, but I can't really, I don't really know what I'm working with. Day three, Brian Peters takes me out there. Shout out Brian Peters, Chasing Edges podcast. I drive around it and I go, hmm, this is interesting. Day four, I have my insurance agent take me there and I actually swim over and stand on it. And when I stood on it, I felt the same way as when I walked in these doors of this building right now that we're in exactly what I saw in my head. And I thought I got to try it so I don't have a future regret that the gym's not in the town that I live, that the warehouse isn't in the back, that the studio and this whole situation could all be wrapped right here, right? Just because it was scary, just because it was going to be a little difficult. And so when I'm thinking about future regrets, I try to pass them through this washing machine of thoughts. And sometimes you'll have where you're like, you know what, if this doesn't like If I don't try that, I'm not really sweating it later in life. And there's some things, and then it's an easy decision. But there's some things that you know could change potentially a lot of stuff in your life, but they're fucking scary. And they're scary, and you just got to fucking jump. Uh, Steve Harvey has said multiple times, like at some point, there's this jump off where you're going to be different than everyone else. You got to be, you might be the only one that believes in it and you've got to fucking take it on and try to change it. And so I want you to think about these type of things and uh, shout out to Jesse Etzler. I'm sure he's listening on the app psych, probably not, but maybe one day. But the reality is, is that uh, when he broke it down like this, it was really interesting for me to think about. And I think that I structure things like this in my mind, but maybe not exactly like that. So hopefully on Daily Fire episode 326, then you can start to structure these type of regrets in your mind that way.